To create my faux finish, the first thing I did was tint the paint and then experiment with a practice panel. If I didn't like what I had done, I'd simply wipe it off and start over again. With my final practice panel in view for reference, I applied a liberal coat of the white base. This technique requires that the panels be kept wet at all times, so keep your water bottle handy. It is obvious that this process could not be applied to a vertical surface. I applied each color using the same technique as I came up with on the practice panel experiment. If I was not quite satisfied with the density and feather of a color, I would simply reapply it as necessary. I used a piece of bunched up newspaper to blot and feather. However, you may use anything you want, for example a rag or a large brush or even a sponge. Again, it's important to keep the surface wet so that the paint flows. Note that I used a feather to do the graining. They are inexpensive and can be purchased at most craft supply stores. If I had to do over again, I would have thinned out the black to give it more flow. I wanted a smooth finish, and the black was raised up above the other colors a bit after it had dried. Maybe if I had added another few coats of primer with block sanding between the coats, it would have been smoother. Also consider using a different medium than I did, such as half inch MDF or hardboard instead of quarter inch plywood. I propped up the panels out in the hot sun to help bake them dry. Note that the center panel has more white than the others. I could have taken it in and blotted on some more gray, however I decided to let it alone. Fortunately, it was the first panel in line and fell under the shelving on the least visible end of the cabinets and the difference in the color is hardly noticeable. My final finish step was applying several coats of clear polyurethane. If I had to do over again, there are several things I would consider. The final finish took a long time to dry, and as it dried, it sunk in a bit, giving me more texture than I wanted. I was after a smooth glass-like finish. Also, keep in mind, you don't want to use a single stage polyurethane top coat in a heavy use area like a countertop. I used standard liquid nail structural adhesive to attach the panels to the original surface, holding it in front with clamps and books in the back. I did shoot some pin nails around the back edges. The books and clamps left some marks in the finish, which for the most part flowed back out. It took this finish a good month until it was hard enough that I could dig my fingernail into it. So if you use heavy coats of water-based polyurethane, be prepared for a long dry time. I should have waited longer in between coats. So, in the final analysis, I like the way this came out. It's the first time I ever did anything artsy like this. If I had to do over again, there would be some changes made. Now, 
My next project is to build a headboard for the bed to match the refinished cabinets. You make it a great day and thanks for watching.